please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi.
Gentlemen, please put your hands together as I formally introduce that man of God, His Excellency, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Also here with him is his delectable wife, Our Excellency, Mrs. Dolato Oshibaju. A round of applause for her too. Distinguished guests, let me also recognize the host governor, our own governor, His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Emushola Sawemu. Also here is Our Excellency, the wife of the governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sawemu. You are very much welcome. Let me also recognize the governor of Ogu State, His Excellency. Prince Dr. Abiodun, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I will hand over the microphone to Gani Olawa for a continuation of the introductions. And the wife, Mrs. Okpo Oshibaju, uh, the governor of Lagos State. Babakide Sonolu and the wife, the first lady of Lagos State. Asuadu as the Sheikh of, South, of Lagos and Nigeria in general. My, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. His Excellency Abzat, former governors, including Babatu Deraji Fashola, Olagu Soye, Olona, both of Lagos State. I, in particular, want to recognize Alaji Goni, former governor of Bobo State. He was governor the same time that governor. Latif Dakonde was governor, and the two of them were the closest when they were governor in 1979. I particularly recognize Governor Boni of Borno State. There are too many former governors, so I will not go into details of all former governors present, Your Excellencies. I salute all of you. I salute all the generals. All members of the National Assembly, past and present, all members of the different state assemblies, past and present, all ministers, past and present, and newly nominated ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. To me, it's a big honor to be chairman at the anniversary of a great man like. A large Latin, Kayode Jakondi, a man who is first in everything he has taught in his life. We don't go into the biography of the man, is already in the program. And I will urge all of us to read his biography. Uh, my speech will be distributed to the press, but I will just talk to the speech. First of all, I feel very happy that in spite of all that a legislative Jacob did for this country, he is here to be given a national honor. I think that is a serious disgrace on the part of this country. It's a serious mistake 
by past administrations that have refused to give the recognition that is due to a large relative that on day. Secondly, I must plead with my professional colleagues that we, in the provision of the pen, must not give full recognition to Alaj Dakonde at 90. He was a founding member of the Union of Journalists in 1955. He was among those who founded the Guild of Editors. He single-handedly founded the Nigerian Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria. He single-handedly started Mass Communication Department at the University of Lagos, of which I was a beneficiary in 1965. He transmitted this into NIJ, and NIJ, Nigeria Institute of Journalism, is now a good day. Uh, technic, perhaps one of the first in Nigeria. I therefore believe that we in the pen should not make a right to the great patron of the MPAN, the AUJ, and the group of uh, editors. We are here today not for long speeches, but to celebrate allergy. But I want to make two points very clear to all of us. First of all, uh, and I said, as I read to it, that a large dark order served a better government. I want to repeat clearly to the whole world that a large did not lobby to serve a better. In 1966, when he was offered to serve the military, with the advice of a power of the own war, a large dark order declined. In 1993, we all held a meeting in MKO Abena's house, and there we decided that those who may be invited to join Abacha should join. A large check on it, therefore, did not lobby to serve Abacha government. In fact, a large check on it, Alexi Blue, Onogoru were the ones who worked hard for the bail that was granted to MK Abela, but fortunately his lawyers asked him to decline the bail. Only God knows if Abela had accepted the bail and he had gone out to form a government in exile, which many of us were advocating, perhaps the history of Nigeria would have been different today. But I'm making these two points clear so that at 90, those who are vilifying a large attack on this should stop the vilification. Those who are maligning his name should stop the mal mal maligning insinuations that have been going on about a large attack Jack on this. I thank God that a large attack on this is 30 today. My prayer is that in 10 years' time, we will all be here to celebrate a large attack on this under years of service to this great country. God bless all of you. I thank the Ghost State Government again for organizing this ceremony. It's evident that those in Lagos have not forgotten their heroes' past. The foundation that Elijah Kondé laid is already in the book. I show you about the book. Ghost State everything. Did a good job. And one thing good about Lagos State is there is regular succession plan. Lagos is the only state in Nigeria where we have not had more than four commissioners for works in the last 20 years. Lagos is the only state where most commissioners uh, have served no less than four to six, eight years. I think we should emulate Lagos State and the template that I should have fashion all of them laid down that we should all learn from that and create the same template in other states. I particularly want to thank Ashura Ju. He's only been complaining that uh, I'm behaving so proud of Better Deep Science School. But I refuse to recognize that. But for him, a Muslim who returned all the missionary schools to which you are very proud today, Samuel Gamma School, Better Deep Science School, St. Gregory's College, Holy Child, Better Deep Science High School, um, so many of them. Those of us who were original missionary school in, in, in Lagos, it was actually due to return our school to us. 
which we are able to now resuscitate the legacy of our hero's past. Once again, Alaji, I wish you well. Uh, 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 and all of the very distinguished ladies and gentlemen present. It's a very special honor and privilege to be here to celebrate with our father, Alaji Jakonde, as you all know, is revolutionary, a revolutionary figure, a transformational figure in the political history of our country. Here is a man who by sheer grit and by sheer vision, was able to do several revolutionary things. Beginning with completely changing the educational system in Lagos and that's the whole of the country. The free education in Lagos was transformational in the sense that we stopped the, the shift system the morning shift and afternoon shift, and it became just one system. And so many hundreds of thousands of young men and women were able to go to school. But more importantly is even housing, which it did so effectively. The largest number of houses ever built by any state government in one cycle, including even the federal government, was built under the Jack Hundley administration. And that has remained historical to this day. The largest number of houses ever built by any administration in one cycle, including the federal government of Nigeria. So Alaji Jakonde has shown that governance with the, with the people in mind, governance with the common man in mind is possible. And that it's possible to impact the lives of all of our people if we are dedicated and if we are committed. I think his life and times have shown that the dedication to public service can have his own rewards, especially the rewards of so many of us who are here, all of us who in one way or the other he has affected politically. I do not know anybody here who has held a leadership position that was not influenced by Alaji Latif Jakonde's administration. And I'm sure that many years from now, many people, all of us, Generations after we remember the man who transformed Lagos and by transforming Lagos transformed Nigeria. Alaji Jakonde, I'd like to congratulate you today, sir, on your 90th birthday. To wish you many more years, but to also say that 90 years is just the beginning. God can give you even more and more years in good health and in joy so that you will see the type of country that you had in mind so many years ago. I pray that the Almighty God will cause you to see that and to see all of the fruits of your labor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, sir, and happy birthday. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We have more video messages. Your Excellency, the Vice President, the Excellencies, the Governors of Lagos, Ogun, and many other Governors. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, enjoy and subscribe. Subscribe. Face TV.